Bruh! You really didn't think you could boycott Netflix, did you? Let's go. Organize everything I do's revolutionize. I build what's good for the whole damn hood. Study G's like these really. I got a mission for you. This is Grassroots Financial Literacy, Episode 9. Diversification. It means just like how it sounds. Diversifying. Especially if you're a person of color, you should automatically know what this means. But let's go on and get into it, right? Diversification is classified as risk management strategy that mixes a wide variety of investments within a portfolio. It's a long-term strategy, not a short-term strategy for growth. Now, the goals for diversification are very simple, and it makes very much sense. It's, it comes from basically the old saying, do not put all your eggs in one basket. Okay. And I've seen a lot of crypto portfolios this year that are very amateur in this sense. People got like 50, 70, 80, 100% of their portfolio in one asset. I've seen this a whole lot with, uh, I might be pronounced it Dogecoin, Dogecoin. And I'm like, so if it goes down like it did, so that all your money is going down, okay. Make sure you're still here with me. Now, let's talk about some of the different asset classes. Uh, you got stocks, uh, REITs, real estate investment trusts, uh, bonds, real estate itself, the actual physical real estate, uh, collectibles, funds, commodities, and they can be domestic, which is, you know, the, the states, if you're in the states, domestic, uh, foreign, which is overseas, a lot of people like to invest with China. Uh, now. To understand how these really come together, I did a basic portfolio video and I did a breakdown of Warren Buffett 2 fund portfolio setup in episode 8. So I'm not going to cover portfolios again, but I'm, I'm covering the diversification of a portfolio with these ideal of different asset classes. Now they get very specific as you get deeper into them and I'm going to give each one of them their own video to thoroughly explain them. But those are some of the asset classes and the reasoning behind diversification. Now some of the cons are it doesn't provide major short-term growth because it's a long-term strategy for risk management. So if you want higher short-term gains you want to get a different account for that. You want to kind of disinclude your portfolio away from your short away from your trading account. But uh, the pro tip when it comes to dealing with diversification of a portfolio the more you diversify the more effort is going to take to keep up with it that's why people get paid crazy amounts of dollars to do so but to mitigate risk diversification is one of the key strategies for mitigating risk but let's move on from there look what time it is time for you to get that work now I remember, I think it was last year, maybe a little, long, maybe a little longer, uh, maybe a little earlier than um, last year. Uh, when we tried to boycott Netflix over the Cuties show, where they had the little girls dancing around, uh, this showed me something immediately painful that had to go along with this lesson. It obviously showed me the black community is very childish in its understanding of business and how viewership effect affects programs okay and make this real simple ABC more viewers more money man that was easy now I'm, I understand why we want it Netflix boycott it but first off the black community lacks unity so we were going to miss right then and there but Netflix support of a black media has superseded a lot of other different networks we were willing to boycott Netflix before all the nonsense we were getting from all the other stations. CBS, FX, ABC, like you, you name it, Stars, HBO. Like, cause I'm, I'm not watching Power. I'm sorry, I'm not watching Empire. But Netflix has brought back all the 90s sitcom. Don't brought back Credit to the Grave, The Parkers. 
We got Yasu Yasue. My Yasuke, I'm sorry, I think I might pronounce that wrong. I mean, we get all these black shows on Netflix. Uh, even some of the uh, even some of the African shows. And I'm like, you wanna cancel Netflix? Oh, where everybody else? I'm like, come on. Their market share is like 65, 70% of the streaming. You, you have no chance. And let me explain to you why. This is what diversification is very important. See, to boycott something, we have to be the major driving force. Economically, financially, we have to be the biggest supplier. We can boycott the NBA. We, we can boycott. But we were really going to try to go after them. And the idea is the less we view, the more the less they're going to support. Okay? It, it makes it, it's very simple. If you don't support us, we won't put shows on there related to you. It's real simple. Because you're no longer a big enough base for us to actually support. So with that being said, you have to be very this is why diversification is important. Netflix diversify their viewers. Black people are not the all-to-be-all viewers of Netflix. Like, we're not that majority that you're thinking 60s and 70s with the boycotts. No. How you boycott properly is in economics. You close the circle of your money going out. And there's a lot to break down there. Close your economic circle. If you if you really wanna really wanna make a difference, right? Because you we don't have the ability to really cancel nothing at this time, like we think we can. Uh, we can only impact what we fund, and we can hurt some bottom lines for sure. Now, with that being said, you show me where you where, where you spend your money, and I'm gonna show you what you support. And this goes into a lot of um, other stuff I'm not finna cover here. It gets very political, and I'm just not going there. It's not worth my time. But if you really want to support Black Netflix, since it already exists, I'm going to put the link at the bottom, but it's like Quali TV. I might be pronouncing it wrong. They were created as a streaming service for Black people, by Black people, to show Black media around the world. It shares stuff back in Africa, uh, documentaries, film, web shows, children programs, and the news and more. The point is, we not taking a conscious effort when we make these decisions and emotions. If you put feelings over funds, what do I say? You're going to be broke. The problem with us is we don't diversify, we don't unify, and we cherish symbolism and emotions over economics and results. Matriotic society. Uh, but checkmate 007 out, man. I'm going to start covering the rule of 72, show you how to double your money. And we're heading into a lot of the um, breakdown of the asset classes I mentioned. And some of the important financial equations so you can really get an understanding of your net worth and financial situation. I'm out. Everything I do's revolutionized. I build what's good for the whole damn hood. Studies.